so I don't really make review videos. That's... I'm not... Art Resin, the company that makes the resin that I use in my paintings, has stepped up their game and said, hey, we're gonna give people some free stuff if they make cool review videos. And I'm like, hey, I use your stuff. I already make videos. And if you look in the links below, you can see other art resin videos that I've already made about this specific product. It's one of my dreams to be sponsored by a company whose product I use. And so if I can win free stuff for making a cool review video, I'm so on board. Here we go. Here is a proper, somewhat proper, not at all probably proper review video of our resins products. All right, this is the first and only resin company that I've even used. There's no need for me to, to use anybody else, in my opinion. There's something that I did recently, which was I had some extra resin. I was resining this and a couple of other Christmas presents. This turned out really well, by the way. You can see my reflection in it. It's just so, that's the thing that I really love about resin and why I'm so, I'm so addicted to resin now, is that it makes everything look so clean and nice and classy. Like this is like a collage piece, right? And when, sometimes collage can look really like crafty and sort of like just you're doing something with your Thursday night wine hobby group. Do you know what I mean? And that's nothing against collage. I think there's a lot of collage out there that looks nice. You get what I'm saying. This by itself looked a little bit like meh. It looks okay. But putting the resin on it, now it's like this really nice finished piece of art that looks, it just looks so slick. So then I had some extra resin in my little tub and I have this piece, this boring shit, which literally was just like boring shit. Oh. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> Always when I'm making videos for art resin, you walk in here. Always. I'm sorry, I won't come in again. That's okay. You're welcome in any time. It's just funny that. Lola. Come on, Lola. This painting, I didn't like it. It was just literally boring shit. Can't get any work done. I can't get any damn work done. So then with my extra resin, oh, I might as well just use this on something. This was on my wall, grabbed it, and then it made it look actually so nice. Again, just like the sl more sleek, I don't know. Don't know what the magic is, but resin is magic. Okay, so now I have a few pieces that I need to cover with resin. And here's the thing, whenever I'm like getting ready to resin, I get so, so excited. It's like when I know that I'm gonna have dessert after dinner, it's that same feeling. Um, I just wanna say too that I haven't been using resin for very long. I would say I got it like a couple of months ago and started using it. And um, it took definitely some trial and error. And again, you can see like videos where I'm trying resin for the first time and it was like, but that had nothing to do with the product. Um, like a popular video of mine is art resin fail. Uh, I don't mean that these guys failed. I mean, I failed at doing art resin. It, it really is something that like, once you sort of learn the nuance of it, it actually is a very easy process to use. And so yeah, it just, it just becomes easier the more that you do it. What am I missing? I need my wax paper. Okay, I got everything in the tub because usually when I resin, I like to do it in the living room, um, but uh, the lighting's not so good out there, so we're just gonna do it in here instead. This is my little home office art studio space. This tub, by the way, is a cat litter box, but I use it to cover the paintings, and I recently saw one of Re Art Resin's videos, and they recommended using this little compressed air can to spray out all the hair is dust, which is important because I live with two cats and don't think that I don't have a damn piece of art that doesn't have cat hair in it. Okay, one of the things that I really like about this resin is I've heard so much about how resin is super smelly and how you have to w have a well-ventilated area and wear a mask. This stuff is, yeah, it's smelly, but I don't find it so overbearing that I'm like getting high while I'm working with it. I just wear this mask and I usually open a window um, and then resin works best when you're working in a warm environment. So it's winter in Vancouver right now, quite cold. Um, so I usually have a space heater going, but I'm gonna leave it off so that you guys can hear me well. Um, anyway, so I really like that with this stuff, 
I feel safe using it indoors. I don't feel like it's harming anybody. I just sort of enclose my room off and that seems to be enough. It's not like my whole house smells like resin. Another thing is yes, I do wear gloves while I'm working with this stuff, but I have accidentally got it on my skin before and nothing bad happened. Uh, in fact, it washed off really easily. I remember seeing a video that said to use coffee grinds. I used coffee grinds and it just, it came off. It was fine. All right, these are the pieces we're gonna be working with today. I have one of my classic ones that I just haven't resined yet. This is a Christmas present for somebody who loves horses, and this is a Christmas present for somebody who loves dragonflies. Always under the impression, I was always, always under the impression that resin was like a fucking fire hose, like it would run away on you. I actually find this very easy to manipulate and control on the piece. Um, it's really just a matter of how much you pour, and since it's self-leveling, um, you can sort of just like push it around and it'll do its job. Um, it's just important that you work on a level surface. Can you guys still hear me? Okay, I don't, obviously I don't use a measuring cup, I use a yogurt cup. Uh, so the way that I tell that I've poured equal amounts is that I just look at the bottles. <laughs> also, you can see what I mean. These are all done. This is painted paper pasted onto wood board and it looks okay, but do you understand what I mean by like the arts crafts look? It's just that it looks, um, I don't know how to put it in a polite way because I don't want to say cheap. It's not that it looks cheap. It just looks like it can be taken to another level. Really easy to manipulate here. What I really like. And then it's just gonna smooth itself right back out. Guys, what would this video be if there wasn't slow motion panning? of me running the flame. Oh god. Thanks art resin. You make my art look wonderful.